Hello, everyone. Hello. Thanks for joining us. We have a fun little segment for you here about creating an art studio in your home, which is um, doesn't have to be a big studio. It could be a little table. So here, Amy and I are going to talk to you about that. And you guys know Amy from Amy Parker Art, I'm sure. We've done co collaborations um, and gone on uh, live before. So Amy is a, a artist uh, from New Hampshire who not only will teach you to paint, but she'll also teach you how to sell your artwork online. So anyway, welcome, Amy. Thank you for joining me today. Awesome. Thanks, Cheryl. This is going to be fun to hang out together. Yeah. I'm just doing a couple techie things on the side here because I was looking to see if I could chat in the comment, but it's telling me I have to connect my YouTube account to join the live chat, even though I'm already you are. connected. That's weird. So give me one second just cool. to yep. and, and now this. just tell everyone that we are coming to you through StreamYard today. That allows us to come with the split screen. And you will probably see if you don't uh if you haven't been on StreamYard before with us, you would probably uh see the message to add your name. It's not signing you up for anything crazy, it just allows us to see who you are. So welcome and say hello when you come in into the comments. I'd like to see who's watching and where you're from. And there's Pat. Hi, Pat from Georgia. I'm coming to you from Florida, and Amy is up in New England in New Hampshire. So it's only showing from my YouTube account, not my Facebook, which is strange. Let me check but anyway. Make sure you're streaming there too. Hang on, I can do that. Anyway, and so for while Cheryl checks that little techie thing, <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Amy Parker. I'm an artist from New Hampshire. Cheryl and I are good friends. We are in an accountability group together, our little mini tribe. And uh, we've been hanging out for a few years now, right, Cheryl? Yes. Um, hello, yeah, it's Sally. Been a few, I think, now, actually. Awesome. So uh, we are, we're really pumped to be here today with you. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out. We're going to give you some of our top tips um, for our home art studios in case we can inspire you all with yours, even if it's your kitchen table, because literally I have done that in the beginning. I'm going to guess you probably have too, Cheryl. Yes. And I like that sometimes. I like to work right in the middle of everything. Amy, I did check. I don't see you streaming on your business page. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and see if I can try and share it. It might, okay. it might make a weird sound. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, Pat, I see you just said that your daughter lives in Claremont. Another friend of Amy and myself is from Claremont. She's another creative here, um, Michelle Boardman. And um, I was up there yesterday. So Claremont's about eh, maybe 50 minutes, an hour from me here. I'm in Lakeland and um it's a beautiful spot. I love going up to the winery. I don't know when you, if you visit your daughter there, there's a fabulous winery there as well. And hello, Sally from Las Vegas. Good to see you guys here. Thanks for joining. And if you have any questions at all and you want to throw them in the comments now, we can we can uh, address them as we go. Who has a studio? Where is your studio? Like I said, um, you don't have to have a whole dedicated room. I sometimes used to work in the corner of my bedroom on a little desk. I have worked in the kitchen table and I sometimes like that because I'm in the middle of everything going on. Other times I like to have a separate dedicated space. I have just moved recently to Florida. So I was in uh, Massachusetts and I did have my studio in the basement there, which it was great because it was huge. I had lots of space, but I just missed having a lot of natural light. So I did have to have some artificial light. Hi, George. George is joining us and george hall my friend from massachusetts we started school in first grade together george is an artist as well we went to high school uh and we're in commercial art program together so we uh, i love having um don't you love having friends that you've collected over the years but the ones that you have kept all these years george you you i value your friendship and um i love it that you're a creative too and I love it when you pop on. So thank you. And um, you were just showing me when I was at your house last, your studio, which was in a separate bedroom, which is kind of nice if you have an extra bedroom to turn that into a studio. Um, so I did have the studio in the basement. Like I said, it was great because it was roomy, but I didn't have natural light. Now um, I'm spending my summers in Maine where I have a camper. So I have a small carved out tiny space, which I think I might have a photo. I'll put it into the... Um, 
discussion in the event later. It's great because it's light, but it's just literally a table with some shelves next to it. And now I'm in Florida here and I have a little lanai. Um, I don't know. What is it? 12 by 12, maybe 10 by 10. Yay. Small, but I love it because it's bright. Amy, did you have any luck? Um, I just went and shared it everywhere, but I could not hear what you were saying for like the past a few oh, that's minutes. Okay. I was because... just talking about my, I was welcoming people because we have a woman here, Amy, that lives in Claremont where Michelle lives. Her daughter lives in Claremont. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's Woo -woo. cool. Yep. Hi, Pam. Thank you for being here. Um, please, yeah. If you guys are here and you know other artists and creatives that are interested in this topic, please feel free to share us. Uh, and uh, it's this is recorded, remember, so you can certainly watch it anytime. But do let your friends know because we have a lot of good information for you. Kate from Maine. Hello. Did you hear me just say I have my summer studio um, at my camper in Maine, which is in Wells? Where are you in Maine? I'd love it if you I guys. I was just going to ask her that because yeah. I was born in Biddeford, Maine. That's and right. I grew up in Rumford, Maine. So I'm a Maina, even though I live in George's New Hampshire. His family hails from Maine, but he's way up, George, uh, Eastport, right? Way, way up there. Oh, Bath. Okay. Yeah. Um, I go through Bath a lot when I was doing some plein air painting this summer up in Wiscasset. So I would go through and see the Bath Ironworks, which is so cool. Uh, that's a beautiful spot, too. I do love it there. So. I have an uncle that lives in Bath as well. Small world, everybody. Yeah, Small world. It really is. All right. So let's, uh, if you have any questions for us, go ahead and drop them in. Awesome, Tamara. Woo, nice woo. I'm so glad that you're here. So Cheryl and I are going to talk a little bit about our home art studios, give you some pointers um, in what we do with ours, right? And yep. then hopefully it will be able to help you out and inspire you. And then Cheryl and I both have a challenge and a workshop coming up soon. So when we're done giving some studio tips, we will talk a little bit about that as well and let you know what that's all, all about in case you want to come and join us for that. Hello, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. All right, Cheryl. So what's the first thing that you have written down we're going to chat about? Okay, so... Um... The first thing I like to really stress is what I've been saying is you don't need to have a room. Don't don't not get started because you don't have a place. Sit down, even if it's for 20 minutes or half an hour, find a little corner. And you could even have like a little bin with your art supplies. Like, you know what's great is those little rolly carts everybody in the world has now. You get them at Michael's and you can put hooks on them and all the things. You could slide that right under the table. So just clear a little spot and just try it. You can paint small things if that's the case. I'm painting a huge painting here, and this isn't very big, this little room. So I love to stress that I'd love to see you get started and, and not put off creating art uh, because of the idea that you don't have a studio. So that's the first right. thing. So just choose a location. Choose a location if you have something by a window. Um, if not, you certainly, there's so many good choices for artificial lighting that has, um, I'm not sure what it's called, Amy, but you know, the light bulbs that are true light, true light ones. So there's many. Yeah, one of my followers um, bought me one. Yeah. Oh my God. Chroma lights or Chroma Lux or something. Yeah, I'm not sure of the name. Hello, Lois from Vermont and Rosie from Ooh, North Carolina. Um, yeah, I'm not sure of the name, but I get um, seasonal depression, right? When the light is just, oh, up here in New England. You know, you just yep. moved to Florida, so I'm jealous yep. of you, my friend. But it's, I'll come down and visit you sometimes soon. You're definitely better. I hope so. But yeah, the light that uh, one of my amazing uh, followers, and she's now a creative warrior in my membership, she she um, bought me this light that looks like a moon. It is so amazing um, on Amazon and sent that right to me. So I have it in my studio. Pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, there's so many. Like I literally have ring lights behind me as well that uh, you know are pretty cheap that you can you can purchase on. I think I even got some at Walmart. I guess I'm on Amazon or Walmart. Uh, but I as well used to have a studio in my basement, very dark and dingy. So yeah, we have to have some light. Um, I moved my studio all over my house. Like I told you all in the beginning, I literally didn't have a studio. I was just painting at my kitchen table. And sometimes in my living room, I just get out my little TV tray and just kind of paint on that. Um, I also had a studio in a closet, believe it or not, in our front mud room. Uh, Tim took the doors off of it and I made a little studio inside of that with a desk and, you know, some paints. So Cheryl's right. You literally don't really, you don't really need much. You just need to be inspired to paint and have some supplies with you. Yeah. Yep. So once you get started, it's, it's, 
we all have issues with not just space, but time to work. Time's a big is a big issue sometimes, but you don't need a lot of time. Take a little, like I said, a half an hour and get started. Or sometimes I find just coming into my studio and organizing things and putting the caps back on the paint and getting it all ready makes it easy for me to start. So a little corner of a table. I know it's tough if you're working on the kitchen table and you have to like cook dinner and then move it all, but keep like, actually this little bin is on my table here because I put my computer on it, but just a little, crate with some supplies in it that you can easily move a little uh, plastic tablecloth that you can throw on um i really like the card idea because I when, I, card. when i closed my hair salon i actually it's broken now because this was years ago i have to get another one but i did use that because i used to have the rolling carts for like all my hair supplies then when i brought it home i used it for my paints and things like that um i apologize in advance everyone I tried to connect with my phone so that I could walk around my studio and show you, but I'm going to have to just post some photos. Um, I'll put it into my free group um, after some photos of my studio, but I can grab a few things around to show you like some, some give you some pointers and some things that I like. I probably can even turn the laptop a little bit so you can see, but I am in the process of well, I'm pretty much moved downstairs now, but I, this past winter I was upstairs in my house. <laughs> like I said, I kind of move around a lot, but now I'm moving the studio down here. Behind me, I was just telling Cheryl before we popped on, I wanted to have a bunch of paintings behind me, got my sunflower, but I literally just sold seven huge paintings um, this morning that I had to bring down to my local mental health center that bought seven paintings. They were all behind me and they looked really cool, but they're gone now. Yay. Because, you know, um, I made a sale. So that was wonderful. Um, but I'm going to grab some of my brushes to show you how I store my brushes. And I'll let Cheryl take it away right now. And she can give you another tip while I grab my brushes. All right. So looking for a little spot, organizing your spot. Sometimes just keeping it organized, like I said, helps really jumping in and working. You can get some great little cubby and storage units at like actually behind me. I have some that I got from uh, Michael's and they stack and some roll and flat storage, little bins for markers and whatnot. Those are handy. Or just going in, sometimes I go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's when they have the baskets and the little crates on sale or yard sales, you find little baskets and crates all the time. Stack, I stack them up on the floor and put things in those. Try to label things. I know I try to label drawers because I just don't remember where I put things. So, um, Brenda, I'm sorry you didn't <laughs> find the link. Um, you found us. And... Um, so what Hello, do you store you Gail. I see Gail on here. Um, yeah. Speaking of labeling, that's what I wanted to show you all with my brushes, because when I go live on my business page and I actually walk around with my cell phone and show you my studio, this is one thing everybody is always like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do that. Literally just mason jars, right? But what I did was I wrote like this is small flat. This one I just ripped off the... Um, you know, when you buy brushes in a pack, sometimes it shows you like this is the angular ones. So I just cut that off to put that on there. I literally have to go through and organize them because <laughs> they're all mixed together. But the labels, like you were saying, Cheryl, really helps when I do take the time to organize them all out because then I know where I can grab them. Pretty cool. You're better than I am. I don't label the individual brushes, but I just have my watercolor brushes in one buck in one cup and you know oh that's cool yeah. and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. So Amy, do you want me to take a little tour of my studio here and then we can uh see if there's any questions about things too? Um yeah, definitely take a tour. Let me, let me switch my uh camera. I'm not sure how to do it uh how to switch the orientation on my little camera here but let me see hmm. i think i think it might be fine let's see hang on uh, i don't think i might need to so let me remove my oh she removed herself <laughs> can't hear you now if you can hear me we can't hear you brenda was just saying the link that she was sent didn't work i um, know i hope that was that in my email brenda or was it on a on a facebook link Anyways, let's leave the three things. We can do this. I can show you on yeah. this here a little bit of what is, uh, let me turn it around. And so I'm going to have to kind of look at with our 
I, I just, you'd think there'd be a way to flip the screen here. Yeah, right. Well, anyways, I'll just do this and I'll try to see what I have you looking at. So I have this little, I was dying to buy this from Hobby Lobby for years, but I never That's had cute. a place. And now that I'm in Florida and the walls were already pink, how could I not get it? So it's great for organizing tons of little things. You can see that I did label the drawers. The drawers are not, you know, they stick a little bit. They're not the like the best uh, for sliding in and out. But I really love the way it, way it um, it holds so much. I love so that, Cheryl. And then I've got just little things for my markers. I love that little shopping cart for my markers. So like I said, this is windows on all side here, all sides. And um, this is, I, I found this great table at a, uh, on Marketplace. I don't know if you can see that. I've got these cool yeah. legs that I chalk painted. I love to have a big table like this rather than a desk um, or anything fancy because it's a big table and I can just paint on it. I did find, in, if you go to Joanne's and you go into like where the upholstery fabric is, this is like a vinyl. So instead mm. of a tablecloth, I have a couple of these. And I could always pull one out that's clean if I'm doing some sort of presentation, but that's handy. I have a lot of lighting around, um, stands for my for my phone and whatnot. And like I said, the table's real big, so I can organize my brushes and my paints in different crates. What I use, I can just grab that crate. So if you didn't have a big space and you had shelves somewhere, maybe the basement even, just keep your, your supplies in a crate and just pull what you're using. I gotta move yeah. this so I can see where I'm going. I've got a- you know, so Brenda wants, Brenda wants to know how wide that little shelf is that you showed us. You oh, know, I'll the measure it for you. Uh, when, I, when I stop walking around, I'll measure that for you. I know they still have them at Hobby Lobby and it's for a thin little, for a small little area, it holds quite a bit. Um, I have a big wide format printer here for my printing. I've got my plein air set up here. So if I oh want to go you just moved and you have your studio way better set up than mine. Oh, I'll try and turn my laptop around to like show you all what mine looks like, but it's kind of jacked up right now. So don't be too harsh on me. All right. Uh, another piece from Hobby Lobby. I love, but it, I don't know if it probably could have gotten something that was a little oh. bit better, but mm, I do yeah. have some yarn in it and I, and I, um, you know, keep things in it. Things can hang from it. I've got a bunch of canvases ready there to go. Uh, and these are the pieces from Hobby Law, uh, from Michaels. I got this, I don't usually have this big easel in the middle of the room, but I was just doing this big painting. I know there's an awful glare there. Let me see if I can avoid that. Big painting. So this easel is taking up most of my space, but behind it, you can see I've got this little shelving unit where you buy from Michaels in the little sections and just add them if you want this i meant to to put i will get the link to this piece from amazon because it's a great piece it's a kitchen cabinet ab holler if you can't see it because i'm just kind of aiming but look at how much it holds it reminds Ooh, me of yeah. organizing i love on the see. inside of the doors how there's even storage there yes. that's um, great and it's not terribly expensive it was in a thousand pieces um i do love putting together that ikea stuff Amazon stuff, but and like trying to do a thousand piece puzzle, like oh, I put A and B and screw in C and do this. <laughs> and I don't mind it. I, I read the directions and I kind of follow it along. I found this cool rug so that if I drop things on it, I can't really notice yeah. it. Nice. <laughs> so that's about it. I know it's the glare when I when I pan it, but it's just a little space. It's not big, but if you are organized, it can be very efficient. And I love I it, Daryl. My house there. So let that's me. That's great. That's. Uh, let me just remove that now. Um, I'll try to turn my camera in a moment. I don't know how well it will work, but just so everyone can get a visual of mine. But Katie's saying she's on her dining table, which is fine. Yes, I tell you, I like elevator. that because I, love, I feel like I'm in the middle of everything. Luckily, here I just open my slider and I'm in the living room, so. I like that rather than being down in a basement. Let me measure. Um, I'll measure this. Yeah. Brenda says you. she's uh, in a broom closet, which is fine. I mean, literally, I was too. I just told you that a few minutes ago. <laughs> so, you know, this we just do what we got to do. Okay, so I'm going to try, while she's measuring that, I'm going to try and turn my um, laptop a couple different ways so you can just get, like, a little idea of what's going on in mine. Anyway, what's the size, Cheryl? 
21 inches by 50 when I'm putting it in the chat. So 21 inches, that's not even two feet. Um, and depth is probably, let's see, depth is, um, depth is about 13 inches. Uh, so it's a very uh, small space, but you fit a lot in it. And as well as that cabinet, I'm going to search that cabinet on Amazon, and I'll put the link for that in the chat as well, because that holds a boatload of stuff. Take Can you hear me? <laughs> like, I got a problem. I got my laptop. I got my, <laughs> my you know, microphone. So hopefully you can hear me. But And then I'll turn it the other way. Show, I love your studio. It's amazing. Congratulations mm -hmm. on being in Florida and setting up such a cool place. I love it, too. Out. I just love to so paint this here. Is, um, this is my sink area. This, this room that I'm in years ago when I bought my house in 2009 was my hair salon. And it's, it's not really that big of a room, but I had two chairs in here. I had two hairdressers and myself, and, um, it has a entrance. I had the door put in, which is right, um, by my driveway, which is perfect because I've been selling my paintings for quite a while now online. And I have probably 12 local collectors that come over to my home art studio to pick up paintings when they make a purchase. So it's great to have my studio here in this downstairs room with the door. Um, but it, I mean, I wasn't always like this, right? And then my husband put this um, whole like kitchenette in and um, I have a sink in here and everything because this is where we, we did like the, the hair washing. So I had to get a plumber, you know, to put in the uh, plumbing for my sinks. This was years ago, but then my husband converted this. So I literally can just come over here, wash all my brushes, do all that. And I've got a bunch of uh, open space down here for, um, to put anything that I want. Usually here's a tip. Um, I don't know if you're like me or not, but it's hard for me to remember everything, right? So if I'm out of paint or anything, I actually have a bin down here, this bin right here. So when I run out, instead of having to write it down and forget where I put it, I just go ahead and throw it right in that bin. So then when I go to make my order online, or if I want to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, um, I have everything right there. So I can either take pictures of it, which sometimes I do if I'm going in person to purchase, um, or I can just order online. Another, um, so this is the other side. If I can, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it will turn. Thanks for bearing with me, everyone. Hopefully. Yeah, that's you fine. I love that you have the sink and everything right there, Amy. That's so handy. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. It is so cool. And then, well, I don't know. I'll just hold this up. So I have this table. I have some of these tables upstairs as well. But right now, this one's full. But I do have this little shelf that I have all my brushes on, like I showed you earlier, um, with the labels. But I have to go through and, like, kind of organize them. And then I have my – I love these little caddies, right? So I have my two paints in here in these little caddies. And then I have my um, crafty paints over there. I'm not sure if you guys can still hear me. Hopefully you can. Yes, we can. Yep. Um, and, then for, and then I just have – a little, um, I don't even know what that shelf is called. My sister gave it to me. It looks like a little country thing, but you know, a little cubicle, right? Has two layers. So I have some of my oil paint stuff in there. And then I literally have a gorgeous big bay window, which like Cheryl was saying, is amazing for lighting. So I am so thankful that I have that. But sometimes, you know, the sun comes in there a little too bright. So I have to kind of um work around that depending and then i have this shelf right here where i've got a bunch of supplies like i said i wish i could bring the computer and actually show you, you uh but just like cheryl really was saying well. what was you that you can see it okay. really well you're fine <laughs> yeah so oh my gosh here's a tip if you have not tried um, high flow acrylics. If you paint an acrylic, these things are 
amazing. I, I have the gold in the liquid uh, fluids, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah. They're pricey, okay. but the coverage is fabulous. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And I do have like some India inks as well that I like to play around with too. Um, this is where I keep like, you know, my modeling paste and my, you know, my gels and mediums and all this kind of stuff here. And then I have a stack of paintings here that I have to actually list on my website. Um, and yeah. Oh, here's another tip. I know we're supposed to be talking about organization and things like that, but I have to show you this. This is amazing. If you love to draw mm. and paint like I do, um, if you want to screenshot this, this is a natural, all organic fixative mm. that basically what it does, if you like to draw and paint, it will fix, um, let me get my painting to show you what it will do. Um, so I drew this picture of my daughter and then I used this fixative to keep it from, from running or me ruining it when I put acrylic paints and drips on this with mm -hmm. the, my high flows. And that way it doesn't ruin the actual drawing. So literally you can, or if you don't even want to mix your painting and drawing, you can just use this to as a fixative. You know that old stuff? Oh my gosh, it's just so smelly. Do you know what I'm talking about, Cheryl? Yeah. It's Krylon the Krylon or whatever. It is like really toxic. I just, I'm, I'm kind of a baby about the smelly stuff. So this really has been my lifesaver. No, know. That's really, yeah. um, I had no idea. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Amy, I love that you have plants in there. Um, and that's another thing to make your space your own, to, you know, put a few little mementos or things that mean things to you. I have a candle over here I like to light sometimes. I like to have just a few little decorative collectibles and things that I have that make me happy. But I haven't any plants. But you know what? I bet you I could use the macrame hangers, which everybody's back into the macrame and yeah. put some plants in here because that's a nice touch right that, so that's another thing with your space is to you know create a comfortable working environment um a nice chair so this is a this was my birthday present this past may my niece bought me this plant believe it or not it's called the money tree and nice. um, oh, you just get 20 bills like off this there? high <laughs> look how big it's grown right She's like, Ani, since you teach artists how to make money with their art, here's a money tree. I'm like, that's awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So you're right. I, I love candles too, although I never really think about lighting them like you do, Cheryl, when I'm painting. But I do love to have some plants in here. Really, I'm not that I'm not that much of a green thumb, but I have, you know, the I'm money tree is growing like crazy. Nice. And I'm not even doing anything with it. And, and the, speaking um, of that, you just dropped all those paintings off. You had that big yeah, sale. So maybe the money tree is working. You want to tell people yeah, about your big sale, it. your big um, sale of paintings, maybe? Sure. Well, but before, um, we, we were doing this video like a day late because yesterday, well, even this morning, I had seven huge paintings behind me. Uh, but I did make a sale for uh, one of my local um, health centers i uh, had purchased seven pieces from me so tim my hubby wubby helped me go down and deliver those uh today so i'll be posting some pictures i'm like tim here grab my phone get some pictures of me delivering these and it was so cool we got some pictures of us yeah, holding the wonderful. painting together yeah um, pretty neat because if those of you don't know and haven't met amy before amy teaches artists how to make money by selling their paintings online she'll teach you how to get a collector's group started ideas like this approaching health centers she gives you the script and everything you need um she walks you hand uh um step by step um hold your hands right through the whole process so if that's something that you are thinking about you know uh you want to recoup some of your money and you want to start selling some things you can do that online you don't have to do it yeah. all in person and amy you can speak a little bit about that too um yeah sure thanks how you got started so, doing it. um yeah that i mean cheryl's right that's totally what i do um i for years wanted to make money with my art like on a consistent basis but i'm an entrepreneur and an artist but i always heard the starving artist syndrome you know and i, and I had self-doubt 
about selling my paintings consistently. Uh, but in 2018, I closed my hair salon and I just started putting my pieces online and giving it a go. And then to my surprise, I grew a collector's group, a large collector's group in a short amount of time. I made $10,000 in the first three months of me posting my, my art online, just using Facebook, by the way, organically, no ads. And so I found a way to do this with um, selling my paintings on auctions, doing shows online, um, doing parties, like having um, a host a host and in, in a guest on with me would do like I do parties, um, all kinds of stuff. So auctions, shows, parties. I also taught classes and which I'm going to be teaching again pretty soon. So Cheryl's right. So I found success and I created a systematic way of selling my paintings. And that's, that's the reason why Creative Warriors membership was born because I wanted to turn around and, and give my strategies to those artists who were struggling to sell their paintings and didn't know how to do it. I'm all about marketing. I'm all about uh, helping you out and using uh, social media uh, to, yeah, to just make some sales. So I, I paid my mortgage and bills every single month for three years straight. And then I turned around to, uh, to teach everybody else how to do it. All of you oh, creators great. out there who uh, love that. And we just celebrated our third birthday yesterday. So Creative That's Warriors great. is three now. Woo, woo. Um, oh. And a big shout out to you, Cheryl. So for those of my audience who may be watching right now, my friend Cheryl um, teaches you how to paint in acrylics. Of course, she can chime in and tell you exactly. But I've taken many of her classes. She is amazing. I love your style, uh, Cheryl. And I love how, how you teach too, because you walk them right through step by step. You give so many beautiful designs that you've created um, and walk them through how to do it. And another thing I really love about your teaching style um, I try and do this as well, but you do this better than I do. I think you give them so many ideas on how to make it their own if they right. want to. So, yeah, you know, nice. they don't have to just do stroke by stroke what you're doing. You give them um, a vision of, you know, other things that they could create. So um, if you need to improve your painting skills or you want to and you or, you know, you want to do this as a hobby or whatever it is. Cheryl totally is the go-to person for that. She's got some beautiful designs. Anyway, I'll stop now. You tell them what else you do. <laughs> well, yeah, I do teach online as well. Um, I do in person, but mostly online these days. And I do have some one-off classes. I have a workshop coming up I'll tell you about. But I also have a membership. And I think I'm about three years old, Amy, too. I can't remember. I have to go look it up. And yeah. so if you join the membership... I paint with you four times a month, two live Zoom sessions, and then two recorded sessions that are emailed to you. Um, we have a fabulous community. That's a big part of it, not just the lessons, but the community. But I also offer some one-off classes if you just want to take one class. And I also have a lot of free classes if you join my um, uh, Facebook group or my – I have a private art community. I can put the link in, too. That's off Facebook. I'll put that link in there if you're interested in joining um, but I do have the membership as well. You can inquire about, I can, we'll put all these things in the links, Amy. So they'll be there in the descriptions as, yeah. as you, as, hmm. you know, cause you know, I want to just see. tell too, I want to tell a couple stories about Cheryl. So, um, the other night, my daughter, Justine, she's very shy. People don't even think I have another daughter, never post her pictures online because she does not want to be seen, right? Uh, but anyway, she was over and I'm like, what do you want to do? And she was bored and this, that. So I literally, because I'm a member of Cheryl's membership as well. Um, so I pulled up your membership and I'm like, honey, look through, what do you want to paint? And then I got all the paints out on the table and her and I just painted together. Oh, how and fun. It I was, love that. Yeah. Um, it, and it's actually one of the paintings that you're doing for the upcoming challenge. Oh, so cool. I'm super excited oh, about that. Excellent. You'll have to post yeah. them. Yeah. And then another story I wanted to tell about you, Cheryl, um, was when we were in Destin together in Florida and we all went out to eat. I think it was at the the island or whatever. It was just so nice to be with you and everyone. And then you and I were sitting next to each other. We were towards like the end of the table. It was a big long table with all of us lined up, all of us mini drivers. 
and you had your little book, your your beautiful little book that you had bought at I don't know some sidewalk sale or something where you do all of your oh illustrations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and you were letting me look through it, and I was just in such awe. Right, it's this little tiny um, book that Cheryl she draws in, and she captures different places that she she is in right yep. and the the drawings were amazing and she collaborates like like puts in painting with them so a lot of them had watercolor i think right cheryl watercolor yeah. i can grab painting. it it's right over there but um i do like I, we do acrylic painting in the membership but i'm throwing in some watercolor now i'm always after my people to get out there and sketch and the and plein air paint get outside and incorporate the outdoors with your works yeah. i am kind yeah. of a bit of a nag about some of those things but I'd love to paint and I and I do uh, go step by step so I have some paintings and the ones in the workshop I'll show you they're a little bit more detailed but that does not mean you can't do them even if you're an absolute beginner because I like to show you step by baby step and I myself wouldn't have even thought I would be able to do this but it just it works people love it so the two paintings, I'll just pull them up now. Two paintings I have coming up. It's going to start on my birthday, guys. So it's going to be November. Happy early birthday, Cheryl. So we're going to paint together um, these two paintings. One is a fall covered bridge. Great uh, for That's learning, what I did. Trees, learning rocks, water, very simple. I, I give you step by step. And I tell you, like Amy said, how you could do it on your own. You could put a blue sky, a night sky. I give you tips for that. And then the next one we're going to do is this little winter painting I did in the membership last year that people love. We use the palette yeah. a little bit. I give you the tracer. You don't have to know how to draw. I give you the tracer. I give you the instructions on tracing the canvas on. And then we will meet on the first day and talk about supplies. We'll maybe paint our backgrounds. And then the next two days we'll paint one of these paintings each day. All recorded. And you can refer back to it anytime. It's not something you have to make live. So in the top of the comments, there is the little link um, to the sign up. So it's $10. It's only $10 for the three days. I, I do that because I, and I mean, I both do that sort of thing so that you can come into our private group and see how we work and see how we teach and are we a fit for you and how you like to learn. So I like to let people you know, give it a try first and see if that's kind of how they want to learn. And yeah, so, and then I have one-off classes like that every now and then too, but $10 for the three days is a great deal. Yeah, um, it totally is. And really I'm, not a big, I'm not a big like salesy person. I put it out there and if you're interested, I'd love to have you. And I'm going to go grab my little sketchbook, Amy, because it's right over here. Yeah. If you want to tell everybody about what you have coming up as well, because yeah. I have mine coming up in November and yours is in beginning of December, are you, or the end of November? Mine's yeah. next week. Mine's on the third. first. I'm second. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So get on, the, get on the ball and sign up for Amy's and uh, yeah. and uh, let me get my sketchbook. You go ahead and tell them all about your yeah. So just like Cheryl, my um, paint and business challenge is only ten dollars, and we are doing a painting together, step by step with me. I can't show you right now. Literally just sold it, so it's not here. But if you click the link and you go to my my page for that you'll see the the painting it's called lakeside rails it is an acrylic painting and like cheryl i will also walk you through step by step to create that piece then on the second day i'm going to show you for those of you that are interested in wondering how you can make money with your art i'm going to show you how you can set up your own art collectors group on facebook so that you can start building members in there of people who love your artwork and I go into complete detail with this during that little mini sh workshop within our challenge. Um, it's actually, you're going to see me in action, actually creating one for one of our Creative Warrior members, Juanita. And it is fabulous. She loved it so much. And her, her, um, her creative, um, her uh, her group is just she she loves having her group and I show you how to set up albums show you help you with with you know ideas for naming it description everything all the way down all the settings how you you know have to set things so if you're like oh my gosh I want to do that but I'm not very techie then you definitely want to go click the link and join my challenge now because we start on the 13th and then on the third day I'm gonna do a Q and A. I'm also going to talk a little more about Creative Warriors membership in case you're interested in joining us in there so you can get 
constant support from me as your own art business coach, as well as the community. Like Cheryl was saying earlier, the community is super de duper awesome. I mean, my members will tell you that. That's like one of the first things they say, right? So surrounding yourself with uh, like-minded people. So anyway, my challenge, once, you, once again, it's called the Paint and Business Challenge. Cheryl just put the link in here. You can go check it out. You can see the beautiful landscape painting that we are going to do. It's a sunset. It's awesome with a lake in there. And then the second day, once again, I'm going to show you how to set up your own art collectors group. Third day, I'm going to talk a little bit about Creative Warriors and about a course that we did last year that I have set up now as a self-study. So in case you would like to take the course, I'll talk a little bit about what the course is. Um, just real quickly, it's about how to set up your own website gallery. Um, if that's too much over your head, that's totally fine. Uh, you can start and take baby steps, but I'll tell you a little bit about those offers at the end of the challenge. Um, and also on that third day, before I talk about, you know, Creative Warriors and what I have for you for the... Um, the uh, Artist Breakthroughs course, right? Uh, I will do a Q&A to answer any of your questions that you have about painting, about what we created that first day, any of your questions that you have about your own art collectors group. And you guys, listen, I already have a group set up for this. You probably do too, right, Cheryl? Have you a group set I up do. for your Yep. And yeah. I put a link just now to my workshop and your challenge. Yeah. So literally, if you guys go jump in um, to either or or both, because they're at different times. Mine's, mine starts on the 13th. <laughs> Cheryl's starts on her birthday or right around your birthday, which on is what, birthday. the 23rd? 28th. 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 Uh, so you have time. You have time to do both. And like Cheryl was saying, just like I do the same thing. If you're like, oh my gosh, Amy, I want to do that. But on the 13th, I have X, Y, Z and I can't be there. It's okay. Go ahead, sign up and you'll get right into the group. And then you can watch the recording of it after. Not a big deal. Everybody always asks me that, Cheryl. How about you? Like, oh my gosh, I want to do it. But, but is there going to be a recording? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of the classes I sign up for and memberships that I'm in, I don't really ever get a chance to participate. I love it when I can, but it's not a requirement. It's nice to when you get a minute to just. Yeah watch it and take your own time take your time you can stop and start the videos you can do little chunks so oh oh, oh gail's daughter's birthday is the 28th cool my um, awesome. it's most of my family except for one brother we're all november um uh my sister's the 24th my brother's the 25th i'm the 28th and i have another brother on the third so it's a big oh wow usually always had our group cake on thanksgiving every wow. year <laughs> See, in my family, it's August. It's like Christmas in August. Everybody, except mine. Mine's in May. Uh, but uh, there's so many family members I have in August. So I, I get you. Isn't that weird? Or some families are like that. It's I like know, everybody's birthdays are in this month. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. So I grabbed my little book. Just let me show you real quick. We aren't going to keep you too long. And we still will talk about studio uh, questions if you have any. So throw them in the comments now yep. if you would. And we can address anything. I have, uh, this was made by a little old woman at a, art fair I went to I wish she didn't have a website she didn't have a card she didn't have anything but I just loved it because it's she makes these little uh sketchbooks it's all watercolor paper inside and I just like Amy said take it with me when I'm traveling and I just sketch what's around me now when you travel you come home with about 100 photos on your iPhone that you never look at again or whatever <laughs> phone you have. right and I don't remember them but if I sit and I sketch where I'm at Beautiful. This is where I bought it at the Winter Park Art Fair, and I have the date. I can remember everything about the day. What I, I usually will sit and have a glass of wine sometimes and uh, sketch, and I can remember where. Look at Amy. This is from when we went to Melbourne. This was in the front door. Of oh the yeah! Oh my gosh! I drew a picture of that too. Yeah. The basket. Yep. So I never brings back so many memories. Um, yeah. It's just really. A nice habit to get into. It keeps art in your daily lives. It doesn't take long. And sometimes it's just a little watercolor sketch. But usually I just uh, sketch a few little bits with pencil. Then I do it with ink. And then I just fill in with watercolor. It's kind of like paint by number at that point. Yeah. But it's Very a treasure. Nice. It's something that you'll just always have. And 
I have a lot of little sketchbooks, but this is my yeah. favorite one. And so like I, said, I don't have one really that awesome it. because I don't have like a hardcover beautiful with the B on it. By the way, um, did you see that Rosie said that her twins were born on her 36th birthday? Really? Oh, my, oh God. my God, that's my great. sister was born on my dad's birthday. So here you go. Hey, Michelle. Um, oh, so what I was going to say, if you don't have, you don't have to have a fancy little book, but I do like the moleskin books with the watercolor paper. Don't get the sketching paper and try to put water on it. You want a watercolor paper, but yeah, anything like that works so too, I Amy. This one, this one, I've got a, just like Cheryl, I have a ton of sketchbooks. This one's Artist Loft and it's a tiny one. It's three and a half by five and a half right here. And and I like that size paper. because it doesn't require a lot of time. I get a little overwhelmed if it's a big sketchbook because I'm only going to be yeah. there for a little while. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's just everyday items. Sometimes I'll sketch my keys on the counter. You know, it's just good practice for drawing and it's good inspiration for paintings. You might have done that sketch, Amy, and then turn that into a painting. You know, just yeah. exploring ideas. This one I really love too, although I haven't been able to use it yet. It's a little bit bigger, That's but I have them in all sizes. This one I'm gonna guess is probably a five by seven size, Looks like it. yeah. and it, it's um, it, it's a uh, leather, it's leather, and then it has this little tie on it. It has this beautiful that. little design on the front of a tree. It's so cool, and I literally did not even draw anything it's in hard here yet. To do the first page, but jump yeah. in to it. If you so, want to skip into like the fifth page, so you're not like the first page is so precious. Skip in the middle and start if you if you need to. <laughs> Hello, uh, Michelle's on here. I just noticed Michelle. Michelle, we had someone on earlier whose daughter lives. It was Pat, I believe, who's who may still be here, whose daughter lives in Claremont. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of cool. That's uh. Do you that's have any other questions at all? Anyone about anything we spoke of? It doesn't have to just be studios. Any ideas or thoughts? Uh, please put them there. We're happy to answer them. Yeah. Um, and if you are watching this replay later, we're going to still be here. So uh, just put your comments and questions in the comments still, even if it's a recording later on, we'll address that as we go. Yeah, we'll come back and check. I usually keep an eye on stuff, so I'll come back. And if you all want to find me, you literally can find me on Facebook, Amy Parker Art, my business page, or you can friend request me. Amy Prendergast Parker. That's my profile. Um, and also you can go to my website, amyparkerart.com. And if you're like confused, like, oh, what's going on with amyparkerart.com? Just go there. Right at the top of my um, website, you'll see the challenge that's happening. Nice. So you can click there. But but uh, Cheryl put it right here in the it's on the very top, section. and it's always and it's also right here again. But you can easily find either of us on all the places on all the socials. We're we're our we're our everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> well, this yeah. Is funny, Amy. I'm so happy to chat with you and all our watchers here. Thank you guys so much for popping in. Yeah, um, absolutely. Oh, and you know what? In the event, if you're in the discussion, we'd love to see photos of your studios. So please post them if you'd like. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Right. Members, uh, Gail, my members, um, that this these paintings we have done in the membership, but Lord, if you want to paint them live again with us, that is included in your membership. And I have put out a QR code and a link into our group, and you can just pop right into that page without any char additional charge. And Gail, I think you're already in my paint and business challenge uh, because you are a creative warrior as well as in Cheryl's membership. And I give my creative warriors free access to get into this. So, and I think you're already in there. So you're good on my end as well. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Brenda, and uh, everyone else. So I guess we'll wrap it up, Amy. Are you all set then? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Unless they see any oh. questions come in. But you can always, you know, put them in here whenever. Laura says she's late to the party. Oh, That's Laura, right. you're never late. That's what people always say. Oh, I'm late. You're never late online because everything's recorded. You're just on time. So no worries. Yeah. It all right. Fun. Well, all right, so let me sign off. Um, and we will see you guys all online. I'd yeah. Like well, we'll on be on my page the next time. Next week, we'll, yeah. we'll be next on my week page. We'll be on Amy's. And what time uh, we'll be doing? Tell, tell the people, is it, are we at an 11 for next week or? Yes. Yes. On the 13th, Eastern Cheryl and I Eastern. will be on my page, Amy Parker Art. Um, what the heck did we say we were talking about? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look. Did we say? I don't know. Or if we uh, didn't say, what do you guys want to hear about? <laughs> no, I already have it set up. Let me see. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, 
top tips and supplies for painting acrylic landscapes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because okay, nice. that's right up both of our alleys. Yeah. So that's what we'll be talking Excellent. about. Um, so go ahead and look for the event on my page. It's not set up yet, but we'll it will be, be soon. Yeah. And then um, we'll see you for another little chat with Cheryl and I. So I appreciate you all hanging out here. It was awesome to hang out with you, Cheryl. You mwah, mwah, mwah. I love it. We hung out twice today. This is great. Yes. Woo. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Thanks so much for being here. See you soon.